in Bob Dylan's crazy moment in time, what started the legend of the man grabbing the axe? On the evening of July 25th, 1965, at the New Fork Folk Festival? At the Newport Folk Festival. I messed that up once. Something crazy happened, or at least that's the way I would describe it. Crowd. A few cheered. Many screamed in rage and anger. You're wondering why, maybe, huh? Well, believe it or not, this is because Bob Dylan came out on stage toting a Fender Stratocaster. <gasps> what? What did this do? What was the big deal, you might ask? Well, Bob Dylan, to some, was their acoustic hero. And losing that big old box guitar was a slap right in their face. Not all. Just those who dubbed themselves the purest. And they were good at it, because these people were also the protest groups. Let's not forget. So these people had a hard choice to make. Stay with Bob Dylan, ride it out, kind of change their way of thinking about things, or stand fast with what they believed and watch their hero leave them behind. Sounds crazy, right? Okay, so where did the axe come in? Bob Dylan hit the stage with Al Cooper and also the Paul Butterfield Blues Band backing them up. That's a little hard to say. It was the end of an era, and it happened right when he walked out on that stage and played the electrified version of Maggie's Farm. That sound went through these people like the first hit of the switch in an electrocution. His first number, I believe, was Subterranean Homesick Blues. Now, I may be wrong on that. I make a lot of mistakes, so you guys usually know a lot more than I do, so if I'm wrong, please let me know. Now, there are two different versions to this story. In one, the people are thrilled with the new electric sound, and in the other, they're completely horrified. It is said that a guy named Pete Seeger actually tried to cut the sound cables with an axe. Pete Seeger was called the gentle giant of the folk music scene. <clears throat> Elijah Walt wrote in his book that that was the night that split the 60s. He said that the crowd booing, the band heavily unrehearsed, Unplugged and walked off stage. A guy named Peter Yarrow gets on the mic and says, Bobby, could you play another song, please? Yarrow says he's going to get his axe. He was talking about his guitar, of course, but I guess they thought it was a real axe. I'm guessing this is where they thought that he was talking about the gentle giant going to get the axe and not Bob Dylan. Thus, there's where the legend, I guess, was born. 